Hello and welcome to this session. So today we are going to discuss and learn about get, post, put and delete API request and how to handle this API request in Catalon Studio. So this is going to be very interesting and we will go very basic step by step and before I go and open my Catalon Studio let us first go and learn what is what are these HTTP methods get, post, put and delete. So all these are HTTP methods and let us go on this website which is understanding rest so here this is for rest however these are the HTTP methods which are common for all HTTP protocol and you can see we have get to retrieve the information so whenever we you want to fetch information we use get post is to uh, create something so request that the resource at the URI do something with the provided entity so mostly it is used to create a new resource or something in that particular resource a new entity and then we have put now put uh, can be used to update an existing entity it can also create a new entity or update an existing one so this is for put and then we have patch and also delete delete is uh, of course for deleting a resource or deleting some information and of course when we use delete we have to point out to a particular resource for example if you see here it points to addresses and then one so uh, this is a particular entity that want that we will delete using this operation so this is all about in very uh, brief about all these methods now let me go to my Catalon studio and this is the project that we have worked on earlier and you can see we have already added a get request so this we added from this website reqres and here if I go to this website reqres let me just search for reqres.in and I will also make these URLs available in the notes of this video and this as well okay so here you can see this is a website where there are some sample rest APIs that we can use and you can see they are all these APIs using get method, put method, post method, delete method. Now in our earlier session we have already used a get method and used the API to list the users. Uh, let us uh, select a post so this is post to create a user and here is the URI so I can take this I will go to my Catalon Studio and under under object repository and under this folder that I created earlier I am going to do a right click new web service request and I will say this is create user and here I have to give the URL so the URL is a combination of this and this API endpoint so I will give this here and also append this API users so this is a resource location and I can say I can give some description which is optional and say ok and here I will update this to post and you can see this is now post and here when we do a post because we are using it for creating a new entity we also have to give a body so this is the body I will go here in HTTP body and provide the body and you can update uh, the format from here whether it is text JSON XML HTML and so on so I will select JSON and if I go to HTTP headers you can see it has automatically taken application JSON if I go to HTTP body and changes to XML you can see it will be it will get changed to XML here similarly it will get updated in HTTP headers so as of now I will use JSON and make sure that you have the content type accordingly and in case you are using any other HTTP headers in your request you can add all those headers here by using this plus icon of course authorization in case needed you can select a authorization and then give your authorization here in this case there is no authorization required and then let me just keep it as it is and I will run this to test so let us see the output and you can see this is now sending the request and we should get a result here so you can see it is saying 
ID created and if you look at the status it is 201 so 201 is for uh, the resource or the entity has got created successfully also if you click here it will take you to a web page from w3.org explaining about this response and the response code so you can see all these things so here you can just look at all this so you can see 201 is for created if you click here it will give you the details so you can also read this for some extra information so here we have got this successful request so this resource is now created and you can also see this is a post you can also identify with this color coding get is blue post is green so this is how you can create a post request uh, let us now select a put request which is for update so here I will again right click on my folder new web service request and name this as update user this is rest and the URL which is a combination of this URL and this endpoint now one thing that you will note here is when we say update or when we use a put request we are targeting some particular entity and therefore we have to give the exact address of that particular entity here we are saying under the user's resource we are targeting user number with id2 so here you can just say ok and then now i will change the http method from here i will select put and of course here also we will use a body so i will copy this and use it here make it json and http headers we already have content type application json created and in case there is any other you can add here and all the other things you can add in your as per your service and let us test it and run this so you can see we have got a response message which is updated and then we have also got the status code 200 and now let us look at a delete operation and also for delete because we are deleting a particular entity you will see that in the URL we have to target some particular entity or a resource so here it is targeting users and the user with ID2 so I will again go and do a right click create a new web service request and I will say delete user here I have to give the URL so I will give the URL here and the endpoint is this one and I will say OK and here I will select delete so for delete of course we do not need anybody and you can see for delete we always get a response 204 if the delete operation is successful so let us run this and check if we get 204 or not so yes you can see 204 no content the resource or the entity is deleted successfully you can click here and again it will take us to w3.org where we can look at the response and the details so here you can see 204 is no content that means the content is deleted successfully and of course uh, you can always add some verification so for example if this is delete I will go to verification and uh, the very basic verification that you can add is for status code so I will click this and here I need to check for 204 so I will say, say I need to check for 204 here for update user I need to check for 200 so again I will go to verification and add a snippet status code and say this is 200 which is fine for create I need to check 201 so I will select this and I will update in the groovy script I will update this to 201 now of course I can add all this into a test case so let me just create a new test case uh, I will say add new test case and I will say test HTTP methods and say ok so this has created a new test case test HTTP methods and create user is added uh, similarly I will add I will add here list user as well so I will go here and say add to existing test case which is test HTTP methods 
and if I go here so here let me just say list user is added if I add a new one I will say add to exist existing test case HTTP methods and say OK OK so every time this is uh, overwriting the earlier steps so I can always add it one by one here in this test case so let me add list users and then I'm going to use the keyword send request and verify so that the verifications that I have added are also uh, verified or checked during the execution and I can go to the script mode to do it a little more faster and I will just copy this and paste it three times and here I will go back to the manual mode and then I will just update this here so delete user here I will say update user and here I will say create user and that's it so I can run this and verify let us run this and I will go to the locks so this is running our test case and let us see the output so this is running our verification statement for uh, step number one I guess yes this is running fine so now step number two then step number three and step number four and everything is okay and our test is passed so this is how you can use all these APIs with all different HTTP methods I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching